Just within the city limits of Austin, Texas, lies McKinney Falls State Park. Here stands the McKinney Homestead, built in 1852, the namesake of the park. The house that Thomas and Anna McKinney lived in during the 1850s, 60s, and 70s when he owned this land for raising thoroughbred racehorses. While referred to as the McKinney Homestead and as McKinney Falls State Park, the names of those that left the biggest impact on this land are those whose names are not here, and those whose names we might not even know, like the enslaved peoples of Thomas McKinney, tenant farmers, and sharecroppers that lived on this land for decades. Pictured here are tenant farmers Sandy Nixon and his wife. Taken in the 1940s, they were the last known residents of the homestead. A strong reminder of their arduous efforts, those enslaved by McKinney were responsible for everything when it came to constructing the homestead. From building the foundation, gathering and cutting the stone, laying out plaster, and constructing the chimney. All was done by hand or with basic tools. Not only were they responsible for building the homestead, but also the horse trainer's cabin, a similar structure that McKinney's horse trainer resided in for some time, and rock walls used for fencing and barricading livestock that still line areas of the park to this day. It is so important that we talk about the people whose names are not featured in our state parks whose names might be lost in historic records. All of those in between, that lived on this land for decades and labored tirelessly, creating a lasting legacy, one that still stands strong today. Features at our park, like the homestead and rock walls, stand not to honor slavery, but to serve as incredibly evident reminders of those families who made such large contributions to this land that we now call McKinney Falls State Park.